Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a drugstore haul. Now I haven't done a drugstore haul in a little while, so I'm really excited to do one because recently I went to my Walgreens in Ulta and I picked up a couple of new items. Well, I shouldn't say a couple because I kind of went crazy at both of the stores. But everything here is basically brand spanking new at the drugstore and then some things might be a little older but new to me. So I definitely want to share those with you guys. Everything here is under $10. So that's really exciting because anytime I could spend less money on makeup I'm all for so if you do want to see what I picked up at the drugstore and what I could get for under ten dollars then just keep on watching okay so like I said I went a little crazy at the drugstore as you guys can see they're both really full so let's get into this I should have taken everything out mm. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the lashes first. Um, I did get Ordell lashes. Actually, these are the ones I'm wearing today on my eyes. And it's actually the ones I've been wearing in like my previous videos because I absolutely love these so much. So these are the Mink Lashes by Ordell and they are the Invisible Band. So these are the new lashes from Odell. They're the Invisible Band. And they're really nice. Like they look really fluffy and they just kind of flutter out a little bit. They're just really nice and beautiful on. They're really easy to use. They do have a thicker band, but it is invisible. So when you put like an eyeliner on or something like that, you don't see it. But they are a little thicker band. So you definitely have to maneuver them a little bit and kind of wear them a little bit to really break them in. This particular one I actually wore six times already. And I gotta say they're really going strong still I think I get more uses out of them and especially if I take care of them a little bit more like if I clean them properly and everything like that store them properly at night I think I could get a couple more wears out of them probably maybe like 15 20 I'm not sure we will see how it goes but so far six times and they're still going strong so I definitely have high hopes for these then I picked up this wet and wild cushion highlighter now this is brand new to me and I think it's brand new at the drugstore as well I didn't even use it yet let me see if I could open it okay so I got it open so that's what it looks like it has a little puff inside I probably wouldn't use this puff but who knows we will see and it's protected okay so that's what it looks like just like a really nice light highlighter it kind of looks pinkish in person but I don't think it's supposed to be pink but we will see all right so it actually has like a whitish pinkish sheen to it it just has a really nice pearlized look so it's actually really nice I don't know how long it's going to last or if you could actually rub it off or anything like that but it's actually really pretty and I believe this was like five dollars like 5.99 or something okay so let's see if we could close it. It does not want to close. It's actually like pushing back up. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to just keep that out or I'm supposed to put it back. I'm not sure, but I don't want it to dry out. So it's actually really hard. It's odd. All right. So it kind of looks like it dried pretty fast. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it seems like it dried pretty fast. So I really do like that. I got to see how it wears on my face, but... I don't know, should I put some on? Let me see. I'm gonna put some on, hold on. We'll just use this really quickly. Let's see. That looks pretty, can you see it? Versus that side. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference on camera, but i put it on the other side to even everything out. I actually really like this. I could see it in person. I hope you guys can see it on camera. Like, can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope you can. It's actually really pretty. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Especially for the price of it. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, so I definitely love this. They only had one shade. I don't know if some other stores have different shades, but they only had one. That's why I picked this one up, and it's gorgeous. I definitely think anybody can rock this shade because it's really nice like that, and it seems very universal, but oh, it's so pretty. So yeah, I picked that up. I can't close it though. Okay, so next up I picked up the bronzer by Wet n Wild and this one is the cushion as well. Let me open this. So it's the same inside. It has a little cushion and I think I would use this. It just is a lot easier. So let's take the top out. All right. 
Well, that actually seems like it has more product in here than the highlighter did. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. It's actually really pretty. So this is actually a really nice color. Like, I gotta say, it's a really nice color. It doesn't seem too dark, but it's not light either. So I feel like if you're, like, really fair or really pale, you might not be able to wear this as a bronzer. It might just look a little too much for you, you know? You might have to use it more as, like, a contour. I think that's what it's called. It says make a cushion contour, but... I mean, I feel like it's a bronzer, you know? I'm just gonna put a huge swatch for you guys can see it. Oh my goodness, that's just a really beautiful bronze color. This seems really nice as a bronzer. It does say contour, so I think it's meant for like contouring your face, but I don't see why I can't use it as a bronzer. Like I said before, I think if you are like fair skin tone, this might be a little too dark for you, but it doesn't seem to pull like orange or red or anything like that. So I like it. I definitely am going to use it as a bronzer. I'm not gonna put it on my face. Obviously I have more makeup on right now. So I'll definitely let you know in a future video how this went for me, or maybe I'll do like a get ready with me with the drugstore products I got today. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you wanna see, cause I'll definitely do it for you. Cause I'm kind of interested to see how this works. So, I would definitely like to do it with you guys. Okay, so like I said before, the Mink Lashes by Auradel. These are beautiful. I told you guys I got a couple of these. So, I love these. So, if you can find them, definitely get these. These are 811. I thought these were just really gorgeous. And I'm just going to show you. They're just like really beautiful. They flutter out. They're really nice. I feel like they flutter out a little more at the ends. But they're just really, really gorgeous. Next up is this wet and wild foundation and this is in buff bisque i got so this is what it looks like i believe this was like five dollars or less and i don't know if this is gonna be my shade because i wasn't tan when i got this and i self tanned last night so who knows but let's see oh and it does come with like an applicator like this so i do like that so that's what it looks like blended out. I think once it's blended, it will be my shade. So I think once I blend it out, it'll just look really nice and natural on. Honestly, it feels really nice on the back of my hand. So that is definitely promising. So it does say it's photo focused. So we will see how it goes. Hopefully you don't see any pores or anything like that. But I'm definitely going to use this on like the get ready with me. I really want to do it now that I mentioned it. Like I really want to do it. So definitely let me know what you guys think about it. But... Um, yeah, I just thought this was really nice, $5. If it works really nice, like, it's $5. Then, they had these on sale at my Walgreens, and it was the Wet n Wild, and these are the lip gel liners. And I got two of them, so the ones I got were Think Flamingos, and then Never Petal Down. So, I really like this one because I don't think I have any peach lip liners, so I was really excited for this one. That's what it looks like. It's almost like a pinky peach to me. Like, that's what it looks like in person, like a pinky peach. I was really excited about this one because I don't have any in my collection as of right now that's like a peach color, and sometimes I do need that. Um, usually I just put like a nude color underneath, and then I'm going to show you the Never Petal Down. It looks like a really beautiful pink mauve color. So that's definitely going to go with a lot of my lipsticks because that's basically what I wear. Okay, so next up is lippies because I got a lot of lipsticks here. Actually, it went a little crazy. So I got four of these infallible paints by L'Oreal and I got four of them. So the ones that I got were 326, 312, 314, and 310. Um, these are really nice. Like, I tried one already, and I absolutely love them. And I already had a couple of these, but I wanted these shades. So, these are actually really nice. I like how they are. They're almost like a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. So, they don't completely dry down. They aren't transfer proof. So, you definitely will transfer them onto things. But it just gives you a really beautiful gloss. Like, honestly, these remind me of the Marc Jacobs glosses because these are like really glossy and that's exactly what these are like really glossy. They're like a lip gloss lipstick hybrid almost but those are all the colors. Now these two are more of like a peachy nude kind of color. This one is almost like a deep red. I think it's called Sangria so it's almost like a burgundy almost. I don't know. And then this one looks like a taupe. So all of these shades are really beautiful. They all have something to offer. These two are definitely different. They kind of are out of my comfort zone 
zone a little bit because they are completely different. I don't usually wear shades like this, but they are just so gorgeous that I had to pick them up. And then these are more of like the pinky nude. Well, this one is more of the pinky nude. Well, this one is a little more rosy, but they are just really beautiful. Oh my goodness, I just love them. And do you see that it's really glossy, but it's a lipstick. Like it gives you really intense pigment. Like it's just really beautiful. And they weren't expensive at all. And like I said, they kind of remind me of the Marc Jacobs lip glosses. I mean, not completely, but almost because it gives you that really glossy effect. They don't dry down completely. They aren't transfer proof. So you definitely will get them on something. But I find if you put like a lip liner underneath or around your lips, they do stay in place a little bit better, but they do stay put either way. These are not streaky at all either. The ones I have here are not streaky. I can't tell you how the whole line is because I don't have every single color, but the ones that I personally have are definitely not streaky. So that's the applicator and it just scoops in a little bit and it's just perfect for the lip to contour your lips with. Okay, so the last products I got at Walgreens are Three Wet and Wild and these are are what are these called the liquid cat suits and these are really nice i got rebel rose give me mocha and uh nudist peach so if you guys do follow me on snap you know i picked these three up and i showed you guys them and i swatched them and i saw some of you guys liking them so definitely let me know what you guys think about them if you have tried this out in the comments okay so those are the three so this is the peach color this is the rose color and that is the mocha color so they are actually all really nice this one is actually darker than i thought it was going to be so the first time i swatched this it was actually really dark this one is beautiful it's actually just a really nice mauvey color it looks like it's a little more on the deeper side and this is a beautiful peach color so these are actually really pretty colors the only thing is they are a little drying so i suggest if you use these to definitely exfoliate your lips and put like a lip balm underneath them otherwise that they're really nice oh or put a lip gloss over them too because i have done that as well and it's just really nice and flexible afterwards see that's why i messed up when i first wore one of these which one did i wear I believe it was the Rebel Rose one. I haven't tried the other two yet, but I wore the Rebel Rose one and it was just kind of drying. I didn't exfoliate my lips for that day. I didn't put a lip balm underneath, so it was kind of drying. So I suggest if you use these, definitely, definitely exfoliate, put a lip balm or a lip treatment underneath and then put these over it. So, or just do it the night before because my lips were kind of dry for that day anyway. So, but they're just really beautiful. And then that liner will be perfect for this color. They're just gorgeous. Okay, guys, so moving on to my Ulta. I did get a lot of products from Ulta, and they are really reasonable price, too. Um, I did get one from Target, so I'll show you that as well because it is drugstore. So I'll show you the one I got from Target first. So this one was on clearance for $4.20, and... I had to pick it up because I don't have this in my collection. It's the Moisturizing Foundation Stick by e.l.f. I actually wanted to try this for a really long time, never picked it up. I mean, it's only $6 otherwise, but if I could save myself like a buck or two, I'm definitely going to do that. So this is what it looks like. It does look like a regular stick foundation. I got mine in natural, and this actually looks like... It was my shade. I kind of swatched it at the store. <laughs> so. so that's what it looks like. That's just a regular stick foundation. So let's see. It just blends in really, really nicely. You can't even tell that I have foundation on my hand right now. So this blends in really nicely. It actually reminds me of the Makeup Forever foundation stick. I actually wonder if these are like two in the same. I don't know. Maybe if you guys want me to compare the two in a video, let me know in the comments as well. But this one seems like it was moisturizing on my hand. I don't know how the wear time is of it or anything because I haven't tried it yet. But it does seem really nice. Next up, I got this Essence. And this is Forbidden Volume Mascara. And it's Rebel. And, you know, it's a full size. As you guys can see, it is a little different. It has a lot of little bristles in it. And it kind of looks like it has little bumps in it almost. Okay, so it actually looks like it had three little bumps. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it definitely is a little bit different. They fan out a little bit. But they are small little bristles. So I don't know. I will see how this goes. I mean, this wasn't expensive. It's Essence. And some of their stuff is really good. So the other products that I have in my bag are from the same company. So I'll just pull them all out at the same time. 
They were actually on sale, so I don't know if they were getting rid of them or not, but I will try to find them on Ulta's website. If I can't find them there, I will try to find where you can purchase them from, and if not, I'll just let you guys know, hey, I can't find them. So the brand is Palladio, and this one is the High Intensity herbal lip balm it's a really beautiful lavender color i really like that it's definitely a little different than what i'm used to the other one from them is plump and shine this is herbal plumping lip gloss mm, okay so it smells nice it smells a little minty so i don't know if it's gonna plump my lips but we will see that's what that looks like it's just really pretty it's just really nice maybe to put over something else to give it a little more pop of color okay so the next thing is a lip gloss from them and this just looks like it's going to be a clear gloss it just looks like it has like little teeny bits of small finely milled shimmer in it so i don't know if you're going to be able to see this because it is just like a clear gloss almost so that's what it looks like so i do like that because sometimes i just want a regular clear gloss you know okay so the next thing is the plumping lip gloss is by the same brand all right so this one has more pigment to it so that's what it looks like it's really pretty so this one is called cherry blossom it's just really beautiful i think this will be just perfect by itself because it has enough pigmentation to it so it's just really pretty um and then i picked this up because it's almost like a cream color and i wanted to put it in my eyes like my waterline my eyes i want to put it in my waterline just to give my eyes a little more of a wake look and because it's not a straight up white i thought it would be really nice it's just a nice cream color so this is actually really nice it was actually really easy to blend out on my arm um like i said i just wanted more of a cream color for my waterline to make my eyes look a little more open and a little more whiter so i wanted the cream color because sometimes if you just put up straight up white it's too much so this is definitely something that i thought it would be nice to have it also says a shadow so it's a shadow end liner so i could probably even use this for my eyelid if i really wanted to maybe like as a base and then go over with other shadows so I just thought this would be really handy so yeah I definitely am glad I picked this up and then the last product yeah this is the last product is from the same brand again and then this is a brush it says a bronzing brush it is more on the smaller side so I could probably travel with it it also came in a tube so I mean I could put it back in the tube and travel with it it's just really handy um i don't know how this will go though so it's not scratchy on my face but it's not like super soft either so i don't know i'm gonna have to use it i'm gonna have to see how it actually applies some bronzer and see how it blends out but i just thought it was like really handy it kind of drew me to it because it was in the tubes it was like oh that's really handy because so everything from my drugstore haul i gotta say i'm really impressed with a lot of that stuff like that highlighter it just looks so beautiful on i hope you guys can see it on but it just looks so gorgeous Gorgeous. and honestly that bronzer I can't wait to use it so let me know in the comments what you guys think of my drugstore haul and if there's anything that you guys recently picked up that I should know about and maybe I should be picking up also let me know in the comments if you do want me to do like a get ready with me using some of these products so let me know in the comments um so yeah it's basically about it i hope you guys did like this video thank you guys so much for watching and please if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe please come join a little youtube family here we'd love to have you and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys yeah.